huge slap. Meg shaken up as 96% Britons urge Queen to ban them from royals forever ahead of UK trip. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's announcement of their upcoming trip to the UK has not been well received by Express.co.uk readers, with most not supporting their return, a new poll has found. Harry and Meghan will be visiting the UK and Germany at the start of September to conduct charity work. A spokesperson for the couple said on Monday August 15, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are delighted to visit with several charities close to their hearts in early September. Their visit will begin in Manchester on September 5 to attend the One Young World Summit. Meghan is a counsellor for the organisation and is due to give a keynote address to young leaders from more than 190 countries. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will then travel to Europe, heading to Dusseldorf, Germany, on September 6, for the one-year-to-go event for the 2023 Invictus Games. They will return to the UK for the Well Child Awards on September 8. Harry has been a patron of the organization since 2007 and the couple previously attended the awards together in 2019. Harry and Meghan chose to step down from their roles as senior working royals two years ago and now reside in Montecito, California, where they are raising their two children, Archie, three, and Lilibet, one. In a poll that ran from 10 a.m. on Monday, August 15, to 9 a.m. on Saturday, August 20, Express.co.uk asked readers, Do you support Meghan and Harry's return to the UK next month? A total of 30,928 people cast their votes with the overwhelming majority, 96%, 29,653 people, answering no, they do not support the couple's UK return. A further 3%, 1,058 people, said yes they did, while just 1%, 217 people, said they did not know either way. Hundreds of comments were left below the accompanying article as readers discussed Harry and Meghan's upcoming trip. Most were in agreement that Harry and Meghan should not return to the UK with one reader, username Jane Waller writing, no they are not welcome. Username Winnie Wu said, no, we don't want them here, they've made it abundantly clear they do not like the UK. While username Casual Carlos wrote, they should stay away, full stop. Username Jack O'Lantern said, I don't support their return during their lifetimes, let alone next month. And username Silver12345 hash said, we don't want them or need them. Thought they had left to get privacy, so why keep accepting them back? Royal expert and author Richard Fitzwilliams claimed that Harry and Meghan's upcoming visit will be fairly difficult due to speaking out about their time as royals, especially in their interview with Oprah Winfrey. He told Newsweek on Tuesday August 16, what has happened during this period is that their ratings have dropped phenomenally. Their popularity has plunged in Britain. He added, they know when they appear that they are at war with the press here, it's rather like venturing into the lion's den now because you've got the public who are not supportive and you've got the press who are ferociously against them, and then you've also got the royal family where there's a rift. A YouGov poll in May revealed that the couple's popularity was at a record low. Just 32% view Harry in a positive light compared to 58% who thought of him negatively. Similarly, only 23% had a positive outlook on Meghan while 63% had a negative view. Harry and Meghan have only visited the UK a handful of times since they departed from the royal family. Their last trip was in June for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration. In other news, Prince Harry's wife Meghan Markle has been hit with backlash following the release of her new podcast, featuring tennis star Serena Williams. The first episode of Archetypes, which explores female stereotypes, was released on Tuesday. Serena Williams revealed during the first episode of new podcast series Archetypes that she postponed growing her family for as long as possible, in order to continue her tennis career. The recently retired tennis champion told her longtime friend that she wasn't afforded the luxury of time that her male peers had when it came to starting a family. Royal commentator Angela Levin seemed unimpressed with it as she slammed the Duchess and her podcast on Twitter, saying, Meghan first podcast is out. She and Serena Williams giggle away with lots of oh my gosh.
Megan encourages her to complain about how a woman is held back and how they are victims. You couldn't make it up. Responding to the royal biographer's criticism Twitter user at Lockit321 added, Every story slash anecdote she offers is always based on our royal family she appears to having nothing but that to offer. Not everyone was critical of the podcast, and many fans of The Mom of Two took to social media to share their excitement at its release. On user, called at Shelbs 247, wrote, Duchess Meghan Markle's long-awaited hashtag archetypes podcast is here. I'm so excited, I don't want to talk about anything else. However, discussing her new podcast archetypes, the Duchess of Sussex said the public will get to know the real me in the podcast.